everybody. Welcome back to Center Stage. We're talking with Matt Lauer of NBC's Today Show. So it started, you, you kind of grew up in the suburbs of Connecticut and Westchester. Yeah. What was life like in the Lauer household? It was, um, it was boringly middle class. Uh -huh. I was born in New York, uh, lived in Chappaqua, Ardsley, Hartsdale, Greenwich, Connecticut. But you know what? I don't remember any major dramas in my life. I remember my parents getting divorced and everybody saying, that must have been a traumatic event. You know what? Well, it really wasn't? They got along fine. You know, there was never that situation where my dad had to drop, come to the driveway, honk the horn, and I got pushed out the door. All right, did you play sports as a kid? I, I was constantly playing sports. Which ones did you like and good at? Uh, those are two different questions. Um, <laughs> uh, I loved boxing. I wasn't good at it. Um, I loved baseball. Loved basketball. Played soccer in... Played baseball in junior high. Favorite teams, players? And did you go to games a lot? I did. Um, you know, if you grow up in this area, you generally tend to be a Yankees, football giants, Rangers, and Knicks fan. Right. Or a Nets, Jets, Islanders... Who did I leave out? And... Nets, Jets, and Nets. Mets fan, right. right. I was the Yankee Easy to fan. leave out. Yeah, I was, the, <laughs> I was a Yankee fan. But you know what? I wasn't the hater of the other. I was a New York fan. Growing up, my, my stepfather's company had season tickets to the Knicks and Rangers. I saw the glory years. I got to see the, the Frazier, Barnett, wow. Bradley, DeBusher, Reed years, and later Earl Monroe. So I spent a lot of time at the Garden. Now, you've become an accomplished golfer. When did I, this happen? Uh, you know what? It, it's it's. I think for a while I was an accomplished golfer, and, right. and three kids has changed that a little bit. Uh -huh. I'm not as good as I used to be. Um, my dad, um, growing up, was a good golfer. He was one of these guys who could play once a year and shoot 82, 83. Really? really? He had kind of natural skills. And his passion for the game just kind of passed on to me almost by osmosis. Now, we just recently saw on the Today Show that you used to be a, a newspaper delivery boy. Yeah, exactly. Did that prepare you for the early morning hours? I delivered the news. Yeah. yeah, exactly. No, actually, mine was an afternoon newspaper. Oh, really? I delivered the Reporter Dispatch in Westchester County uh, for about three years. And I have to say, I loved it. I, I think, to be quite honest, it did help me become a bit of a news junkie. You know, you sit there and you fold the newspapers when they're dropped off at your stop every day. And you got 10, 15 minutes, and you sit. I always went with the sports section. Right. And then slowly, as I started to get maybe a little, my eyes opened a little bit more, I'd go to other sections. And I really liked to read the news. And I think it, it, made, a, it made a big difference in my life. Now, you also worked in an exclusive men's shop <laughs> in Greenwich. I, I think it's called Richard's. It is, yeah. And you kind of became a clothes horse. I, wor I worked there for five um, summers and Christmas vacations. Uh, the funniest part of it, Michael, was that um, I would sell, Greenwich is kind of an affluent community, and this was a very nice store, I would sell suits and shirts and ties to the men of Greenwich, Connecticut. Right. Little known fact, I'm colorblind. And so I used to try, you know, luckily during those days it was mostly a navy suit and they'd get them a red tie, you know, that was basically right. it. But some, what I would do is I had a signal with this really great salesman who had a great fashion sense. And I'd be showing, you know, Mr. Jones the suit and the shirt and the tie, and I'd say, and this, you know what, I think, Mr. Jones, this tie is going to go beautiful. And I'd look over at this guy who would be watching, and he'd go, yes. and I'd say, but it's not for a man of your stature. And I'd take it off, <laughs> and I'd move it away. Because I really couldn't, I could see basic colors, but I couldn't see su tweed jacket. I didn't know what color it was. I knew it was dark or light. I couldn't see browns and navies and strange. I've gotten better, but it was a weird thing. All right, you went to Greenwich High School. Good okay. student or not? Me uh, mediocre student is, is pushing it. Because you didn't care or you just couldn't get it? I wasn't a good student. I, you know, I don't know. I, um, I don't think I applied myself. I had bad study habits, which is interesting because today in my job, I have really good study habits, but I had bad study habits as a kid. Here's what I don't understand, Matt. You, you weren't a great student. Bryant Williams didn't graduate high school, uh, uh, didn't graduate college. college. Yeah. Uh, Peter Jennings didn't go to yeah. college. But and don't, you guys but are don't all take after us. But I mean, you're that's, usually you know, successful. That's, don't, you know, don't do as we did. Um, <laughs> I think we're, it, it, we're flukes, and I think we entered the business at a different time. Right. It's so much more competitive today. You know, I had an internship my senior year at Ohio University that was my first job in television. When the guy in the, in the communications department at OU put the notice for that internship up on the wall, right. probably six people applied to it. They put that same in internship up today, 200 people would apply for it. Now, you grew up, I guess they would say, the wrong side of the tracks in Greenwich. You mean you aren't, no, um, you aren't rich, rich? No, 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 not at all. We were not wealthy. Um, and I moved to Greenwich, and I'll never forget my first day at the new high school, pulling into the parking lot and seeing all these BMWs and Mercedes and thinking, they pay the teachers a lot of money here. <laughs> not realizing these were the kids' cars. <laughs> and it was a shock to the system. And, and, yeah, I lived in a small garden apartment, and when I'd go visit friends' houses, they were behind gates and things like that. But you know what? It, 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 it made me realize what was possible 
without making me envious. I'll never forget my stepfather said something to me one time. I was going to pick up a friend of mine at one of those gated houses. And he saw me looking at it, and he just grabbed me by the sh shirt one day, and he said, by the way, you don't know what goes on behind that gate. And he was right. You know, that just because people had gates and big houses didn't mean they had better lives than I did. So they had more money. Yeah, a lot more money. <laughs> <laughs> How does a kid from Greenwich go to Ohio University? We'll talk about that next when we return right here on the center stage.